Hello, I'm Josh George. Today I'll be doing a Big Ten breakdown. I'm going to start in the Western Division, go bottom to top like I always do. I'm going to do Illinois because I have them coming in 7th in the division. And I don't know, Lovey Smith has 10 defensive starters returning, but it's a defense that was 127th in total defense last season. For those reasons, I have them at 5 and 7, but 2 and 7 in conference play. Then, I have Minnesota coming in 6th in the division. I have them 7 and 5, and 4 and 5 in conference play. Now, Rob Smith was fired as their defensive coordinator in the middle of the season, last season, and he was replaced by Joe Russo, who has done a little bit better, but I don't know... Have, I don't have super high expectations for them. So 7-5, and 4-5 five, and five in conference play. Then, 5th in the division, Northwestern. Pat Fitzgerald is 96-70 and 70 as head coach of Northwestern. I think he's done a terrific job there, but he does have one of the hardest four-game stretches in college football at Wisconsin, at Nebraska, hosting Ohio State, hosting Iowa. Tough games. I have him at seven and five with Northwestern this year, and four and five in conference play. Then I have Purdue with one of the best wide receivers in college football, definitely the best in this division at Ronald Moore. And I love Brom and Brom coaching the offense. Jeff Brom and Brian Brom. I think they'll do terrific. Topsy turvy team though. They beat Iowa State real big. It was uh, 42 to 20, but they lost to Auburn 14 to 63. So could be a tale of two teams where you have two different Purdue teams, one that's really good and one that's not so good. I have them at eight and four overall and uh, four, five and four in conference play. Then Nebraska, I have them third. Scott Frost started 0 and six last season. Wound up 4-8, and eight. so is he turning around the team? It kind of looks like it. I have them at 8-4 and four overall and 6-3 and three in conference play. Then, second, I have Wisconsin, who finished um, with one of the best rushing teams in the nation. They were at, ranked 6th in yards per game, and... Jonathan Taylor will be one of the best running backs in college football, maybe even the best. And I think he's one of the ones that could be considered for a Heisman because he's going to be the star of this team. I, I have them at 8-4 and four and 6-3 and three in conference play. Then tight end you, Iowa. I have them winning the division. I think they can ride their big tight end again like they've always seemed to do. I think Sean Bayer will have a great season. And I have Iowa at 8-4, 6-3 in conference play, and winning the division. Now, to the next division, the East. I have Rutgers. They're a team that I watched a couple games. I saw them lose to Kansas. The eye test, they don't pass it. I have them at 0-12, 0-9 in conference play. Then, I have Indiana, who has Callen Debro. He's their new offensive coordinator. He finished at, uh, our, last year their offense was 87th in points per game. And you can't win without points. It's just a general rule. I have them 4-8 and eight and 1-8 in, in conference play. Now, moving on to Maryland. I have them 5th in the division. And they have Josh Jackson, the quarterback who came over from Virginia Tech. But not a lot of pieces to work with. And Loxley, as their new head coach, is 3-31 and 31 in his career. So I have them at 4-8 and 2-7 and and in conference play. Now, Penn State, a team with a lot of talent, especially on defense, but also a lot of young guys. They'll be starting all sophomores and freshmen at receiver, which I think is something to note, and probably a sophomore quarterback. So I have them at 9 and three, six and three in conference play. Now, I have Michigan State at um, third in the division. Mark D'Antonio has had a lot of 10 win seasons as head coach of Michigan State. In fact, three of the past five seasons, 
he has got 10 win seasons. So I feel like this could be one of those years where he gets a 10 win season. And I feel like he's got the talent to do that returning. Eight starters on offense, eight starters on defense. He's got the experience he needs to go nine and three and six and three in conference play. Now to second in the division, I have the Ohio State Buckeyes. They have a first year head coach, Ryan Day, and a new quarterback starting Justin Fields. I feel like there's a lot of questions, a lot of new names on this roster. I have them coming in at 10 and 2, but 7 and 1 in conference play. Or 7 and 2, excuse me, 7 and 2 in conference play. Now, to the Michigan Wolverines, who I have winning the division. I feel like they have the most talented team in the country and the most physical team in all of the Big Ten. Now, I have them winning the division, and I feel like Peoples Jones gives them the speed they need at receiver to finally maybe beat Ohio State and win some of the big games that they haven't been winning under Jim Harbaugh. I have their record at 11-1 and and 8-1 and in conference play. Now, to the conference championship, Iowa and Michigan. Like I say, Michigan's the most physical team in the Big Ten. Physicality wins conference championships. I have Michigan winning the Big Ten this season over Iowa. I am Josh George.